Hello guys and welcome to the session of HP Tronics, in the previous video we uploaded the program in Uno, Mega, and Nano. In this video we will be uploading to Pro Mini and Lillipad. Programming port is absent on these two boards. So we require a different solution to this problem. Let's have a closer look at the Pro Mini. It has all the pins as that of Uno, but let's focus on these set of pins. DTR, Transmission, Receiver, Power, Ground. These pins are used to upload program to Pro Mini, but how? These pins cannot be connected to the PC directly, here FTDI comes into picture. This small board converts USB to serial UART interface, and this will upload our sketch to the Mini. Let us have a look at the pins which will be connected to the Mini. You will recognize some of these pins. We have read all these pins on the Mini as well. DTR, Receiver, Transmitter, Power, CTS and Ground. These pins will be directly connected to the Mini. The only thing to be kept in mind that the data sent by FTDI will be received by Mini and vice versa, so, the RX and TX pin of FTDI will be connected to TX and RX pins of Mini, the CTS pin will be connected to ground and rest are obvious. So, the pins are connected in mirrored fashion. Notice the small jumper on the FTDI. That is to select whether the VCC pin on FTDI should give 3.3 volts or 5 volts. The Pro Mini comes in two models 3.3 and 5 volts and Lillipad works on 3.3 volts. You have to select by placing the jumper between VCC pin and 5 or 3.3 volts pin. Remember that we manually installed the drivers for Nano, if you forgot or skipped that I will have a card for that on top. We have to do that too, but his time install drivers for FTDI. You should not have a tough time searching for that so I have attached a link to the driver in the description below. After clicking on the link you will have this file downloaded, just extract this file and install the drivers and give necessary permissions. Now let's connect your Mini and FTDI together. If you know the connections, then you can use jumper cables or, go for an easy method and connect both of them on a breadboard like this. You must have noticed by now that the FTDI 2 has a mini USB port as the Nano, and so, we will be using the same cable to connect it to the PC. After connecting you will notice a LED glowing on the FTDI, and the power LED of the Mini will also glow. Now the process after this is same as we did earlier. Connect the FTDI to the PC, after that is done, open Arduino IDE and select the Board Pro Mini in the drop down menu, make sure that the correct port is selected, and then just hit that upload button. Blinking LEDs. The sketch is uploaded successfully. Now let's move on with the session and try uploading the sketch to Lillipad. First of all have a close look at the Lillipad. Notice the round shape of the board, it is designed in such a way that it can be covered under a logo on a fabric. This board as discussed in the first video was built for projects which require microcontroller and the circuit to be attached on a wearable cloth. The holes around the perimeter of the board helps in stitching the board to the fabric. Its thin contraption lets it hide under a fabric layer and stay there unnoticed. And it has all the pins of that of Mini and Uno. You can notice the absence of a connecting port, so, again we will be using our very same FTDI as we used in case of Mini. Have a look at the pin out of Lillipad. Notice the connecting pins. They are exactly same as found on Pro Mini, but, they are the mirror image of that. So we will have to make our connections accordingly. Here, I will be using jumper cables to connect FTDI and Lillipad. Keep an eye on the way the FTDI will be connected to Lillipad. The connections are to be made properly otherwise you may not be able to upload the sketch, or, you may even fry it. And also make sure that the VCC jumper is connected to the 3.3 volts and not to the 5 volts. Now we will just connect them both. After this rest is same, connect the FTDI to the PC using a mini USB cable, select Lillipad from the board selector, select the port and then just upload the sketch and you're ready to go. Make sure to select Lillipad Arduino and not Lillipad USB. There is a model of Lillipad which comes with USB connector. The sketch is uploaded successfully. Hope you liked today's video. Do like and subscribe to the channel and get notified for the next content. Thank you everyone, and I will see you next time.